गुड मॉर्निंग पीपल हैप्पी ईद ईद मुबारक बिकॉज टू द सेकेंड डे ऑफ ईद आई होप स्टिल एन्जॉइंग योर ईद वेकेशन वे वर सेलिब्रेटिंग सो इट्स प्रिटी क्वाइट इन द सिटी इट्स ऑलमोस्ट एम टी नॉट रियली एम टी बट लॉट ऑफ पीपल आउटसाइड द सिटी सो रोड जक एन एम टी एन्जॉइंग ड्राइविंग एन्जॉइंग द पीस एंड क्वाइट सो आई डिसाइड टू डू सेकेंड वीडियो फॉर द डे एंड प्रीवियसली आई डिड अल्ट्रामेल द न्यू वन न्यू वर्जन ऑफ अल्ट्रामेल जॉन पॉल गोरी अल्ट्रामेल लेट यू नो माई थॉट्स ऑन दिस वन स्टिल प्रिटी बैड एस फ्रेगरेंस एंड स्टिल प्रिटी मच वर्थ योर मनी आई आउट से सो चेक आउट द रिव्यू एंड डू लेट मी नो हाउ यू लाइक इट सो आई जस्ट थॉट यू नाइ जस्ट वेर नाइस नैप एंड एवरीथिंग जस्ट ओका टू शावर यू नो दैन आई जस्ट एड नाइस ब्रेकफास्ट सो आई थॉट जस्ट पुट वन मोर वीडियो फॉर यू सो आई टॉक अबाउट कार्टियर फ्रेगरेंस एंड आई डो नॉट हैव द फुल बॉटल ऑफ इट आई हैव अ स्मॉल सैम्पल लेफ्ट आई हैड प्रीवियसली सिक्स टू सेवन सैम्पल ऑफ दिस फ्रेगरेंस आई लेट यू नो द स्टोरी एंड आई लेट यू नो uh why it's something that you should look at this fragrance okay so this is called a uh, cartier pasha the pasha de cartier edition noir okay means the night time edition so this is a flanker of original pasha the cartier also has santos i need to look at those original too and i own pretty much previously cartier declaration which i let go i reviewed that very early of my channel and then declaration don soir i love that fragrance the masterpiece then i did declaration don soir intense I'd like to show you because many of people who haven't seen these videos you can check out these reviews I did a uh, Lenvold Cartier EDP Lenvold Cartier EDP then I did the ultimate masterpiece Cartier Roadster which is based on a watch the Cartier make and this is how that watch dial looks like and I do also have another amazing gem that is Cartier Declare uh, Cartier Roadster Sport and this is uh, a little bit greenish juice you can see and I recently let you know my initial thoughts this is another fragrance if you like durom sport you can like this so i reviewed quite a handful of cartier fragrances and cartier is a very high class house cartier prada i would count them equally with guerlain chanel or dior okay they are very high class house so they are designer house but their fragrances smell like niche quality many of them okay so the edition noir the story of getting this i went to get cartier declaration don soir somewhere 2 years back 2016 in Surya Kelsis mall if you live in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia you would know where that is the twin towers so below the twin tower petronas twin towers we have a uh, Surya Kelsis mall they have all the boutiques at uh, the ground floor sorry level 1 i think metro joy and parkson they have two sides uh, they have a lot of uh, showrooms so boutiques uh, sorry so when you go there you'll see at festive season they will have like promotion going on like if you buy something you get like gifts and stuff so i saw cartier just put up a small little a uh, counter and they were selling declares and don't swear size nifty i knew i got to get it so there was a small little 50 ml that i bought and then when i paid and took it home i realized she gave me declaration instead of declares and don't swear so i'm pretty sure that was an because it was an honest mistake because she was a very sweet person and she gave me a lot of samples already like four or five samples of edition noir this pasha and the 7 ml sprayers very nice quantity and i was very happy but when i saw declaration then i like i opened it already i didn't notice and i was very disappointed because i do not like declaration so i ended up having that and i went back the next day and i told her like you gave me the wrong one and she gave me she was so sorry and she's like can i change it sir because once it's open our policies we cannot give you a new one so anyway at end of the day i bought declaration don't swear and uh, the fragrance uh, she gave me like 6 7 8 samples i think so all together i ended up with like a lot of samples and at least 6 or 7 samples of Pasha de Cartier edition noir. So I sniffed a lot of it. I used a lot of it. Carried a lot of it. I just never ended up talking about it. I never bought a full bottle. So as you can see in the intro, that's the bottle. So let's. That's the story of the fragrance. And uh, I'm sorry a little bit about my voice because uh, last few days I've, I've been drinking some cold, like Coke, Sprite, and stuff like that because it's very hot outside. So drinking cold water and ice cream also having the voice gets a little bit down. So I suggest if you can not hear me properly, use a headphone with a laptop or a phone. I think it will solve the issue. I'm really sorry about that. and I'll sort out the mic after the Eid holidays okay I'm planning to get one so this fragrance I gave a lot of to my mom my sister my friends I just am remained with only one sample here now so I had a the 7 ml sample I don't know where that is I used to carry it maybe in the car or somewhere so this is a nice fragrance now coming back to the fragrance this is an underrated kind of fragrance it's not a mind blowing fragrance I'll let you know my thoughts and the bottle as you can see from picture is nothing mind blowing but it looks nice so they have a pasha watch from cartier that's how it's inspired by So Cartier Pasha is the original one then Pasha Cartier sorry Pasha de Cartier edition noir it's a flanker and then they have a sport version which is a flanker of the flanker so i haven't checked that out black and red bottle this i really like 
So this is potency wise, it's pretty long lasting fragrance, okay? When I sniffed it first time, I really liked it. I thought it smells like one million because it smells that sweet, ambery sweetness is there. It has notes of uh, oranges, I think. There is definite, I sniff mint. I sprayed it here, I'll let you know how it smells from my hand. And it has a, like the citrus is kind of like old school, you know, it's not exactly brand new sort of citrus. This is the interesting part. It has a classy vibe to it. So if you know uh, Safari, if you know this kind of fragrances back in the time, it had like woody kind of like the oranges would be very masculine, spicy. I kind of detect that old school vibe from this fragrance, but it's kind of modern. It's modernized, definitely. It's not very oldish, but I feel this has a mature tone to it, even though it's very, very sweet. So apart from that, you get a little bit of pepper. It has a peppery kick to it. Let me spray a little bit more just to get the opening. Okay. Let's just go to small, small burst. Okay. So yeah, opening that the opening is very, very beautiful. It's almost like it can be used for female, uh, like purpose, like female. Uh, what am I saying? Female <laughs> the women can use it. Uh, men can use it alike. And it has the sweetness that actually be good for nighttime. You know, that's why edition noir means nighttime. I think it's a good nighttime fragrance and probably it's a good for, uh, Kind of like somewhere between hot weather and cold weather, sort of like spring, early winter days. I think it's been good because it has a good lasting power on it. So the thing is when I talked about 1 million, it kind of feels like 1 million DNA in it because of the blood orange and orange note in it, the sweetness, amber together sort of gives you feel of 1 million. But it's more close to, I would say, 1 million cologne. Okay, if you know 1 million cologne, it has aquatic note. This one also has an aquatic note. So it's... The oceanic aquatic tone sort of makes it sort of versatile. It can wear it in the cooler summer nights also, but uh, the sweetness in this, I think the daytime, it might be a bit too much. It has some woody notes to it, maybe sandalwood or something like that. And uh, as I told you, this fragrance lasts a long, long time. So even the bottle is nothing special, the fragrance is kind of interesting. So it's underrated fragrance in the sense that not many people talk about this fragrance right here, and not many people would recommend it in the top 10. And as you can see also in my channel, I totally forget about the sample that I have. Should I buy a full bottle of it? Could be, you know, if winter comes and I do not find any other interesting fragrances. So it's sort of those 1 million uh, territory, but it has some class to it. It has posh feel to it. It's, it reminds me sort of like a 90s era, but it's modernized as well. So that mint is very interesting because the mint reminds me sort of like a watery mint that you can chew on. It's kind of crunchy mint, okay? And you can mix it in the salad you can taste that mint very fresh uh, like kicking mint okay so it's there so it makes it kind of like an interesting fragrance you know so the watery notes just like 1 million pakoraban 1 million cologne this fragrance also can be used maybe for day purpose also but do not go heavy with the spray because it's very heavy heavy fragrance okay so i recommend this for people of uh, let's say teenagers all the way up to 40 year olds people can wear this if you are elder than them, you can still go for it, no problem, but it has a playfulness about it. It has a kind of like a flirty uh, vibe to it. So it is very playful, good for clubbing, I think it would be, and cold weather to really cut through the cold, but it's the sweetness doesn't make you sick. So it, it balances out with the citruses, watery notes, kind of like peppery, and then the aquatic notes, very interesting mix going on, okay? And the amber, it's really, really pretty. So the woods is the last dry down, last stage. You get some woody notes, something like safari. You get that feel from it. You're gonna get it from it, but not as dated, okay? So I, I would say suggest do not blind buy this fragrance. Give it a try if you go to Cartier, you might be pleasantly surprised. Or try to tell them if you get by any other Cartier fragrance, tell them to give you a sample of this, okay? So for longevity, longevity is very, very good. I would give this like nine out of 10 for longevity. Uh, seasons to wear it, I would say best Time to wear it is like spring and early winter days. You can wear it in the summer cooler nights, no problem, but it's high heat. I wouldn't recommend you wear it unisex purpose. Uh, you can wear it for clubbing. You can wear it for outing, dating, uh, hanging out with your friends. You can wear it. It's, it's going to be very strong projecting fragrance that will last a very long time. So projection wise, I'll give it like 8.5. Um, the originality uniqueness, there is something unique about it. At the same time, it smells very familiar because of the 1 million DNA. Uh, the for the women, I would say, I think it will suit really, really well with women if they wear it with a classy dress and it's benefit on women. It smells a little bit like masculine, like they're in charge at the same time, empowering, but not quite the butch, <laughs> you know, if, if you know what I mean. Uh, so 
it has element for both men and women it's very nice it goes very nicely with both genders it blends nicely with your skin but if you do not like sweet fragrances i suggest you stay away from it is it very unique as i told you uh in some way it has that old classy vibe at the same time it has that modern vibe one million sort of feel but it's not exactly one million clone okay so it can be a little bit mature like 30 plus also can wear this fragrance so is it full bottle worthy i would say check try before you buy it's definitely a try it's not a pass it could be very interesting if you like sweet fragrances right so Cartier Pasha de Carrier, the Edition Noir, I really like the smell. Overall, this fragrance, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. It's a solid, solid fragrance. I cannot say I do not like it. I really like it, but perhaps I wouldn't wear it every day. It has something that might get you a little bit tired after wearing it seven days in a row. So reserve it for special nights, like two, twice a month or three times a month, night time. You can really create an impression because no one's going to smell as classy as you wearing a sweet fragrance, right? 8 out of 10 for Pasha. De Cartier Edition Noir. I'll check out the Pasha and the Edition Noir Sport and also the Santos because I really love this house. Take care guys. Thanks for watching and always thanks for supporting and um, wish you have a very very nice day. Take care. Bye bye.